Hello, hello, hello. My name is Hector. Welcome back to Enigmatica 6. How's it going? How's it going? How are you all doing? Hope you're all doing well. Having a good old day. I'm just waiting for like one other drowned to spawn in. There we go. There we go. Uh, yeah. There we go. Do that. Ha yeah, how's it going? So last episode, we did. We did some Adelon. And there's a few more things that I'd like to try out with this. Namely, all of this stuff and doing the dark chanting. Because I think that's going to be a little bit fun. There we go. And I should have a good amount of these things now. There you go. 25. Not bad. I've got... Is that 3,000? 3,000 totems of undyings. Not too bad. Only 204... Um, quite a lot of blaze, quite a lot of uh, of um, emeralds, but uh, yeah, not too bad. Bit of a random, this is such a random, completely random mob farm, but anyway. Um, so, we'll do a little bit more of this, and the first thing you can see, I've basically, yeah, we've, we kind of vaguely learnt that. Try paying a visit to your local swamp, yeah, we did that. Um, basic altar, so, casual prayer to the Dark Lord. Um, you should now know the wicked sign. Oh gosh, do I? I don't think I do, do I? That... Oh yeah, okay, yes, okay, fine. I do know the wicked sign, okay. Um, not the musical, we're not defying gravity right now. Although, we can defy gravity, so maybe, I don't know. Um, where are we? Alter. Alter, alter, alter. That's not how we spell alter. There we go. Uh, that... Yes, wooden altar, and I... Th oh, okay, yeah, I've done that. And what else did we need? A straw effigy. Of course we do. Of course we need a straw effigy. Uh, that. Uh, oh, wow, do I not have any wheat? Um, I feel we might... I also made some warped sprouts and some calcs of end. Um for which you need the warped sprouts. And I just, I don't know, I can't remember why I did it, but I was messing around with stuff and I just wanted to see what would happen. Um, Let's go to spawn uh, and see if there is any wheat. Yes, there is. Let's just get a stack. I thought there might be lovely stuff. Um, Yeah, there we go. Right, okay. Effigy. Bam. Just the one. Basic altar, effigy. Okay, yes. A wooden altar is the most basic type you can craft, so that will be fine for now. You'll also need an effigy, so make one out of straw for now and place it on top of the altar. Praying to the effigy will now raise your favour with the Dark Lord. And if you do it enough, he might even decide to reveal some new knowledge to you. Be careful, though. Any prayer can only be performed once per day. Any duplicate attempts will fail. You'll know if a prayer has worked because the effigy's eyes will light up and you'll hear a thunderstorm sound. I recommend setting up an altar as soon as possible, praying once per day, even if you don't plan on progressing in the mod. That way, you'll be ready when the time comes. Right. Okay. Um, I'm going to do those as well. You can do other things too, but we're going to we're gonna keep it near the mob farm because uh, I, be nope. I believe that there are... There we go. That there are things that we can um <laughs> that we can do. Oh what what am I getting the sound effect of? Is it XP? I actually don't know. I've basic yeah, I I basically muted everything that I could think of. Uh XP orb pickup. Yeah, that's that's a bit better. St stuff is still happening. There we go. We've got that going. So, what do I, uh, yes, so it doesn't really say what I do with the whole prayer thing, so I've got that, straw effigy, um, altars may be constructed, icon, yeah, magical paraphernalia, I mean, it, it's given me, like, candles, I guess, I, I don't, oh, yeah, okay, ah, Oh, that's quite a cute little candle. Um, I don't, I don't really know. I know there's this, and it basically the dark prayer. There you go. It's it, okay. Yeah, right. I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. So mystical signs. There you go. Chant. Oh, oh. Did that? Was that it? I feel like that might have been it. 
like you saw that briefly, didn't you? But that was it. Okay, it's almost. I guess it's almost night time. I'm going to. I don't know. Maybe I need to make a bigger altar. It also says uh, altar upgrade skulls, so we can do a wither skeleton skull, which is kind of cool. Um, candlestick, much better, and a wither rose. Uh, capacity is currently on use, but allow for okay in. Oh, that's in a future update. Okay, there's three different categories. If you put a torch and a candlestick on your altar, bonus will be two plus. With a wither rose in a flower pot. I mean, I can do that. So I might. We might just go back and and do some of these things and do some of these things. I guess um, because they can be done. Right, that. And I I presume this is how I unlock more things. So let's see, candle. Stick? No. Uh, candlestick? There we go. Candle. Um, flower pot? Do I have one? No, I do not. Flower pot. Thank you. And let's make another altar. Altar. Uh, let's maybe make... Let's make a big altar. Um, and what was the other thing? With a rose. Which I have. What else was it? Is that it? I get three skull fragments. I get a basic amulet and more skull fragments and a potion of wither. Okay. Uh, lovely. Probably won't use a lot of that, but there we go. Um, don't need that. Okay. I'm going to put this up here. It is almost night time. So I'm going to... I'm going to come this way with the altar. I like how everything connects. That's kind of cool. Um, right. You. Uh, you and a candlestick. Ah, very nice. Very nice. Right, let us sleep quickly and then let's do another dark prayer and see if that does anything and i think that's how you unlock more things essentially which i should have been doing but i kind of didn't really know about it so yeah and basically what i'm trying to do is trying to find trying to get this unholy symbol because we need it it's like a thing that you can you can um you make and then you basically uh you have it for good and you can make things with it so let's see then let's see huh I feel like that didn't work. I feel like that just... It says once per day. I presumed it meant, like, I don't know, once per Minecraft day, right? <laughs> that didn't seem to do anything. Yeah, that, that sound effect would assume, like, it would seem to say no. Dark Lord says no. Okay. I finally got it working. Uh, well, it, it finally happened again. It, maybe three, four nights of it. But uh, I guess my 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 slight uh, issue is that I don't know what it counts as a day. It seems to be literally maybe when the sun is back at the same time. I've also basically rearranged everything. There we go. We've got the blood sign. So if you look here, uh, alter lighting, you can see different things have different like power and capacity and you can't stack them. So I've just got one uh, candle. Uh, I've got uh, the skull, three capacity, one power. And then I have three power. So I could probably, if I put a lantern on here, I would get a little bit more capacity. But there you go. It finally worked. Um, I have, I have this. Um, I, I, I don't know what it does. I don't know what it does. Uh, theory, oh, sacrifice animal. There we go. Perform the chant above, um, before an altar, and a goblet filled with animal's blood. Sacrifices are highly valued, but may only be performed once a day. So I already made the goblet. Um, because I'm good like that. Uh, is that no? That's a wither skeleton mop. Uh, that's a creeper which I don't need. Um, let's actually 
in fact, I'm sure uh, that we can do this amusing thing if I find a little bit of space. A little, little bit of space, a little bit of sp mm. There's no space anywhere. There's no sp There's space here. A little bit of sp Well, I say that, but uh, there we go. There we go. Enchanted ash. <laughs> oh, is it? Is it? Is it going to die? Oh no, it isn't. It isn't. Oh, that that told. I thought that was meant to to keep the mobs in. Well, that's a bit of a shame. Um, this won't by any chance. It won't. Oh yeah, it'll just do that. So okay, fine. Um, I could have actually sacrificed that. I didn't really want it to be that. Um. I need to get myself a mob. I mean, obviously, I can probably get it from here, really. Oh, it said an animal. Okay, let me quickly find an animal, and I will be right back. Okay, so, uh, if I do that there, and then kill you, there you go. That is indeed full. Lovely stuff. And then that, that, that is basically it. So, uh, that, that, that. Uh, it didn't it didn't do it i'm so confused man i guess this is what i'm sort of vaguely confused about it says once a day but like i've not done that one yet so i don't really understand how that has already not worked um above before an altar and a goblet filled with animals blood sacrifices are high value but may only be performed once a day is it because i sacrifice an animal and that is like the the one day already or is it is it ah oh, I uh, um, effigy? Okay, no. So that I I guess that needs to be there. It's a little bit confusing, I guess. Um, I guess, I guess, I guess, I guess. I know I'm saying guess a lot. Um, I will have to keep going in the hopes that 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 fire being put out. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little bit gutting, I won't lie. Um, yeah, I am doing it right. Anyway, what we do have is that. Oh, and he even got a pig spawn, but that's fine. And then we're just like so close to being able to get the unholy symbol, and then I can do other things with it. Uh, and I can't even remember, if I'm honest, what I can do with it now, because I've been doing this. Um, an axe of cleaving, uh, which is pretty good, but there's, there's there are more things. Uh maybe in the artifice, like the glass hand. Oh, I don't even need it for that, which I would like, the glass hand. Uh, there's definitely something. Oh, I, I tell you what, I wouldn't mind, the prestigious palm. Do I need it for that? No, no, I don't. Uh, wicked weave, <laughs> which sounds so silly. Uh, ah, there we go. I need it for that. The unholy symbol, wall around a shadow germ. Uh, and we get ourselves some of that. Wow, I'm going to need some more Shadow Gems. Um, that's maybe what I should be up to, really. Shadow Gem. Oh, wow, that's a lot of stuff. And that. Oh, and an Essence of Death. Ah, oh, I need so many things. Okay, so I probably should be doing that, really. Um, whilst I'm messing around with all of this as well. Uh, yeah, that would probably be a good thing. Let's just see, though. No. I got it. I got, I got, I got the next sign. There we go. Soul sign. Lovely stuff. And then this has unlocked a few more things. So a stone altar. Um, stone altars have same characteristics, may be upgraded, but enables more powerful rites to be performed. That's quite nice. Uh, elder statue. That's a thing. But we need the unholy symbol first. And for that, there you go. Uh, while a while looking at a certain dropped item. Now, thankfully, uh, our Enigmatica 6 folks have told us what. So, drop a pewter inlay on the ground and perform the chant to create an unholy symbol. Uh, so, dark soul, dark soul, or whatever it is, uh, that one. Dark soul, dark soul. It's wicked, that's what it's called. Right, there we go. Okay, so no, because basically, um, I I'm guessing you can only do one chant a day. Is the is the thing, and I've just I just obviously did the goblet one. Um, I'm still confused as to what a day is. Also, I've just realised um, 
Uh, there we go. The zombie brutes are the things that drop uh, occasionally zombie hearts. So that's actually what I need. Not normal zombies. Did not see that. So going to go out and try and kill some. I've got, um, I've got looting six on this one, which is pretty good. Uh, and I've got capturing five on that. I don't know what looting can go up to. Let's just have a look. Looting. That says only three, this ancient tome. So you would think maybe capturing can go up on that. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Um, yeah. So I will do that quickly. And hopefully, hopefully, um, we might actually, we might, might, might maybe actually see a, um, a zombie brute. And then I can, it would be nice. It would be nice to get a heart. I We can. We can actually get them by doing this. You get eight of them. So I could just make those, which wouldn't be <laughs> the worst thing in the world to do. Um, and maybe I should just, and I might just, I, I will see. But anyway, uh, I'm, I'm going to at least spend a night trying to find, trying to find a zombie brute and see. Just, to, just out of interest, really. Would you look at that? I got the thing. I realised, I think the, last, the first time I did it, I forgot to actually... Uh, put that on the floor but there it is we've got that ah ha 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 ah ha ha and we get eight of those there you go so we can now do that uh only be performed on an upgraded altar made from stone with an elder statue on top this is how you'll be able to unlock the mine sign the current final sign in my mod doesn't have any uses yet but allow you to unlock the mods end game very soon okay so uh, although there are two little bits which is a bit confusing that is interesting um I still haven't been... I would quite like the glass hand. I think that's quite a cool thing. I think I've got one of those. Um, yeah, it basically, it doubles the damage of all attacks. Uh, however, this comes at a price. Any damage that you, befalls the user will be quintupled. bit crazy. But with the mecha suit, I should be pretty, you know, immune to stuff like that. These two things aren't that bad. Diamond, amulet, yeah, glass, wraith heart I actually have. I just don't have any zombie hearts currently, so I'm going to spend a little bit of time trying to get them, because I would, I would quite like that. Um, and I guess the prestigious palm as well, I would quite like those things, uh, a plus four reach distance, which sort of brings me back to the old um, pneumatic raft armor. So I am going to spend some time trying to find some zombie brutes. Uh, I've already had one night spent trying to look for some. Not sure what the best idea is. So, yeah, wish me luck. Right then, I got lucky and uh, one of my lovely Twitch subscribers basically gave me one of these. Um, there we go. We've got that now. So thank you, Mr. Jesse. That was rather lovely of you. Uh, that, there, that, there. And that there. That should give us, there you go, the glass hand. Ah, yeah, risk and reward. And I don't know where that goes. I presume in one of the hand ones? Oh no, it says necklace. Am I all out of necklace things? I might be, you know. Uh, that is belt, charm. Let's go up here. Ah, what have I got here currently? Mana region. Which I guess I'm not really hugely using. Yeah, there we go. Um, now that should give me, like... It should give me twice the power, but I get 50 five times the damage basically so actually there's a uh is there oh it's under here somewhere oh that's annoying <laughs> i thought there was a skeleton there there is not someone may do that um okay i might i might not be able to show this off Arr. okay this we might have to we might have to we might end up doing one more uh, there's that, but that doesn't really help me. Is there a cheeky little skeleton? Yes, there. Oh, it's a special skeleton as well. Let's see if what kind of damage it does. It's gonna. Uh, well, not that much. What's that? Fifty-five. So this does thirty-two damage. Um, allegedly. So you'd think that would do sixty-four. So I should kill it. Urgh. That didn't seem to quite do it, but maybe it was because it had enchanted armor. That did do a lot more damage, though, I think. Um, maybe it doesn't work on this. I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching. 
Uh, I'm a little bit injured. Uh, it's been fun. Adelon, we might do one more kind of messing around, but we might not as well. I don't really know exactly, but uh, it's a very lovely little mod. It looks very grand. Um, but uh, I don't I don't know if there's that much use for it quite yet because it's not quite finished. And uh, I know there's a lot of other stuff in this mod pack as well, but I, I do like it. I do think it's quite nifty, uh, except for waiting around for once a day, which I don't know when that is. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I've been Ekta. This has been Enigmatica 6 on my Patreon server. Check me out on Twitch as well. Do everything that you want, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.